Hi guys, it's your girl Jolinda. I'm back again today with another video. You guys, today is September 5th. Can you guys believe that it's September again already? Gosh, it's time just flies. But anyways, today I'm going to get my totes out and see and kind of go through them and just kind of see what I have as far as um, fall decorations go. I picked up a few things, um, a few fall decorations that I want to share with you and yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, guys. Join me. So here we go. I'm going to open up my totes um, and just kind of put everything out here on the table and let you guys see everything. Um, a lot of stuff is from last year. Some stuff was like from years ago, just things that I've collected over the years. You guys have seen a lot of my fall stuff. So I'm just going to put it all out here on the table and show you it again. If you've seen it again, I've got some new things I want to show you as well. So. First, I think I'm in my wreath. This is a wreath. I got my wreaths in trash bags so that they don't get real dusty. Um, I'm gonna show you the stuff in the totes first, and then we'll go move on to the trash bags. Um, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm a bit of a ways from the camera. So what I'm gonna do is just open up the totes first and do the trash bags next. I have pillows in. Some pillows and some uh, reefs in the trash bags. So I'm going to open up what's in the totes first and then we'll, we'll move on from there. My table needs to be wiped off. So I'm going to wipe it off with um, some of my Mrs. Meyers apple cider uh, multi-purpose cleaner. I'm going to wipe it off first and then we'll go on. Okay guys, here we go. Let's get this tote open. Let's start with this one. I believe I had a lot of this was in order. I had in my black and orange tote, I had Halloween. And on the other tote, I had fall stuff. So I'm not sure if I kept it that way. Cause, because last year, I was kind of in a hurry um, putting things up. So it may not, it may not be in order. So we'll just see what we have. This is a nice plaid fall colored pillow. We'll keep that for fall. I have this cute thankful pillow. How cute is that? Like I said, I've said before that fall, you can kind of get away with putting it all together, but sometimes the Halloween it's just a little different from the fall. I mean, the colors match perfectly fine. It's just the theme of it all. You know what I mean? It's like, um, and I and I think like this pillow right here, it says thankful. So I'll turn it over on the orange side just so that it matches for fall. And then when it, we get closer to Thanksgiving, I'll turn it around for thankful. Um, that's how I, that's kind of how I do it. I just kind of tweak things and, you know, so that they'll match, so that they, so that they go and make sense with the theme of everything. This is a rug. This is the old Halloween rug that I 
every video, every year, I talk about changing this rug out. And you guys know I still have not gotten a Halloween mat for my, my front porch that I like. So I will be still shopping for a rug for Halloween before Halloween gets here. Now, a lot of this I can see is Halloween. Uh, I kind of wanted to save it for the Halloween, uh, the Halloween video. So that's what I'm going to do. I can see that I did put all of the Halloween stuff in this one tote. So we'll move on to the next tote. Save that one for October. Now this one should have all of the fall decor in it. Let's see. There it is. That's all the fall. So I did good last year when I was putting things away. I put everything where it should go. This one says autumn greetings. How pretty is that? I bought this years ago at Dollar General. I think it was $5 and still looks great. So I still use it. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I like that. So I'll put that down. This garland, I remember two years ago at Michael's and it was on sale big time and I don't, I don't know why I only got one. It was on sale, I think the sale price was like $7.99 and it was retailing regular price $24 something and it was really a, a bargain and I don't know why I only got one. I should have got probably three of these because I, I could use three uh, around the house. Um, I have a, a bag full of white pumpkins. I put them in a separate bag so that they didn't get uh, scuffed or, you know, beat up or anything. So it's like just a whole bag of white pumpkins. And I remember ordering these um, probably two years ago on Amazon. And it came with a, I think it was like 20, let's see, about 12, probably about 12 in a, in a pack um, from, from Amazon. And they're all the same size. Uh, I also got this white pumpkin and I got it from Dollar General. I think it was $5. And I've had it for probably three years. Um, so, let me keep that. It says, Hello Autumn. This one from Family Dollar too. Um, the little bow that was on the top, I took it off because it just didn't, kind of didn't go with what we were doing. So, I think it was $3. Um, been a long time ago, and I'm just gonna pour all my pumpkins in the table. Hope that they don't fall off. I'm gonna be with them. So. All right, now you guys remember this sign? Let's see if it still works. Cause I turned it off. I thought uh, it doesn't. I need to put. Oh, there it is. It does. It still has batteries. I turned it off so that I could save the battery. <laughs> And it still works a year later. I think it was, it's been a year, I think. It was a year that I bought this. And I got this from, um, where did I get this from? Hobby Lobby online, HobbyLobby.com. That's where I ordered this from. So I'll put that on the table. These two from Dollar General, I thought they were cute. They look nice in fall and, and festive, so I bought these. And I don't have a tag on them. I want to think they were $5 each. Um, they're really cute. I like them. And you guys know I kind of have a thing for things that are gal galvanized. Um, that's kind of something I'm into, especially in fall. And so I also have these cute little salt and pepper shakers. And I bought these from Family Dollar uh, probably three years ago. And they were a um, dollar each. They also had turkeys and 
I hope they still have them this year because I remember they had a lot of Halloween ones too. They had cats and um, ghosts and they're just so cute and they, they just really go with the decor. So I picked those up um, some years ago. Uh, let's see. I have these that I got from Dollar General and they were $5 each um, last year. They light up. Let's see if they still work. Yep. Still light up. I was so good about turning these off so that they would work <laughs> when I get ready to use them again. But yeah, these are some cute little pumpkins that'll go great for uh, fall decor. I love these. They're so cute and sparkly. I like sparkly things if you guys haven't been able to tell yet. <laughs> I love sparkly things. Okay. Now, I also have this cute little beaded beads. They say blessed. Um, and I got these from Dollar General. I think they were uh, $5, $3 or $5. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But they still have some. They still have these. This, this I got this probably a year ago. But they still have some. They still have some of these. And they keep them. I guess they'll keep bringing those out and stock, stock those. Cause everybody uses those for their tier trays. So... I guess they got the memo so that because they keep them in stock. Okay, what is this? This is a cute little ceramic hen. A little ceramic pumpkin ceramic hen that I bought last year at Dollar General. <laughs> they also have, um, and you'll see, I got some new things that I'll show you, but they have um, some coffee cups that match these. How adorable is that? That is just the cutest thing ever. And I think I'm going to just put it on my stove. on the I mean, just on the um, cooktop. I think it'll be cute there. Isn't that adorable? You guys, I just want to let you guys know that I really cannot see without my glasses. So I went for my uh, yearly checkup at the eye doctor. And my eyes have changed. My, my prescription has changed since last year. And... I now, these are readers, but I now need full-time, full-on bifocal glasses. And so I'm having them, they're being, <laughs> they're being made. So I have to pick them up soon um, and I'll be able to see better. <laughs> like these, they work for reading only, but when I take them off, I can't really, I, or when I try to look at other things, they don't really do me justice. So when I take them off, I'm blurry, and then when I put them on, I'm blurry, unless I'm, like, up close reading something. So, you guys, that's just kind of one, a problem I have. So, I will soon have new glasses and be able to see everything. Okay, so here's a cute little welcome sign. I've showed you this before. I've had this many years. Um, I want to say three or four years, maybe. And I got it from Dollar General and still has a tag. It was $4. And it has a little galvanized leaf on there. And that's kind of what attracted me to it. You know, I have the thing about the galvanized stuff. I think it's really cute. Especially the fall stuff. I don't see a whole lot of it this year. I guess it's not the style this year. But I do like it. I do like it. I'd like to see more of things like that. Um, here is a sign that says thankful, grateful, blessed. And this one says be thankful. Both very cute. Um, I got these at this at Dollar General, five dollars. And this one, I'm not sure. It says it cost three dollars wherever I got it from. It may have been the Dollar General too, but it doesn't have a Dollar General sign. I mean a uh, um tag on it. So not sure. Not sure where I got this one from, but I did get this one from Dollar General. And they're both very cute. And kind of go in with the theme of, of the house. Like my house, I have a lot of golds. If you have, I'm sure you guys have noticed browns, golds. And so I try to keep keep with that theme with whatever I'm doing, um, just so I don't have to rebuy everything. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to rebuy and start over with my color choice, my 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 um, my color, my theme, my color. Here's another galvanized pumpkin that says thankful. 
like I said, the thankful stuff, I'll probably leave it until Thanksgiving time, like more, like November, I might bring this stuff out. Um, it goes, but it goes for, for fall, but for Halloween, I have to take it down. If I put it up for fall, Halloween, I take it down and then put it back up in November for Thanksgiving. I mean, that's, that's just kind of my life. That's what I have to do. I have to do these things. Um, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So what am I talking about? <laughs> I enjoy it. Okay. Now this is the little, the little mug that matches that, that, um, little ramekin that I have, the little, this is the mug. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. I bought another one because last year they were out of the white. So I bought another one. Now I have two of these very cute little pumpkin ceramic mugs. I think they're adorable. I love them and they're so, so in keeping with my theme and so fall. Like, I just love it. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I, I, I just pick up things that I know works for what I'm doing or for my theme. And then I end up with everything that I need. Keep, if I just keep doing that and keep doing that. I have this ba very small wreath, baby wreath. Uh, and what I normally do with it is I just stick a big candle in the middle of it and just set it somewhere uh, on a table or on a shelf somewhere. And... It still looks good. This is, I've had this for so many years, probably, oh my gosh, probably over 10 years, maybe 20, maybe 20. It's been a long time that I've had this um, and still looks great. You guys, that's what I tell you. If you put your things back away properly, put them up in a, um, in a tote, you know, they will last for you and you'll be able to use them for years and years to come. Um, that's, that's my secret when it comes to uh, for all dec any decorations, I, I like to put them away and tuck them away safely so that they are safe all year until it's time to bring them out again. You know, it's just, that's what I do. That's what I do. Okay. Now, what is this? Let's see. This is, this is my... salt and pepper shakers that I use for Thanksgiving and they just have leaves on them now I have a tablecloth and some napkins like some cloth napkins that match these um the first year I started doing dec you know just really decorating I bought everything had leaves everything had fall leaves on it and it's really pretty and the thing about it is that all of it still looks good and this was like maybe 30 years ago that I bought this decor with the leaves, um, the salt and pepper shaker. See, I still have them. That was like 30 years ago um, that I bought this stuff. This stuff, you know, with the leaves. Um, I have a tablecloth and, like I said, uh, cloth napkins that match this. And I still have them, and they still look good. And that's what I mean. You know, you can just keep, keep your stuff and keep it looking good and use it year after year, you know, You'll be able to use it year after year if you do that. This is very dusty. Not dusty, but I can wipe it off. It needs to be wiped. I mean, well, washed. I'll wash them before I use them. Now, that's the other thing. With the salt and pepper shakers, I keep them. But I also, every year, I wash them, dry them, and then refill them. I don't, I don't use the salt and pepper over and over. I just, I, I empty it out. If it, like at the end of the holiday... I empty it out, and then when I get ready to use it again, I wash it, dry it, and then refill it, and then use it that way. But yeah, so that's how I keep everything looking good. I just keep it put away and tucked away. And two little orange votive holders, little candle holders. I use those, and um, sometimes I'll wash these. Instead of using them for a candle, I'll use them for two picks or something like that to just to bring in my color theme. You know what I mean? Instead of using a regular Schmegler toothpick holder, I'll use something like this that matches all of the decor and 
just works out much better for me and it looks much better. And then I just keep all of my little bags and stuff come out of so I can put them back in. Or, you know, and it just helps keep everything from getting so dusty and from getting broken. Like, those bags come in hand for, like, fillers so that nothing gets broken, you know. I have these cute little things that I've had, I bought at a dollar shop probably, I'm going to say about 30 years ago. I'm going to say about 30 years ago. I bought them at the dollar shop and they have a cute little, it's, I bring them out at Thanksgiving because they have a turkey, they have um, a pumpkin on there, a couple of pumpkins, some wheat. It's just very Thanksgiving-y and I have two of them and I just use them for decoration. Just like now for Thanksgiving, I can put this on my tier, my, my tier tray and that'll look really cute uh, for Thanksgiving, but yeah, so cute. Very Thanksgiving y. Very. Okay. Now, what I've not seen a whole lot of the candles. I think I have them all put up somewhere, but I think I think they're all in my the cabinet where where I put things in. All of my candles and things and cleaning products and stuff like that. So there, these are the little candles that go in the vote in the little votive holders. They're just just little orange candles, and like I said, sometimes I use these, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use those as like toothpick holders. So just depends. And I have these very cute little um, metal or galvanized gold. I don't. They're just like ornaments. That's what they are. They're ornaments. And they say, blessed. This one says blessed. And I just kind of put them places. Just put them around. I have that one as a leaf. This one is a, a truck, a pumpkin truck. It has pumpkins in the back. And it says, gather. How cute. Like, for Thanksgiving, you know. For fall, Thanksgiving. Harvest time. There's a pumpkin and these were all at Dollar General, and I think they were a dollar each. And this was probably two years ago that I got these. Thankful on this one, on the pumpkin. And then another, a different kind of leaf, and it says grateful. How cute is that, you guys? Just ornaments. Like, if you wanted to do a Thanksgiving tree or a fall tree, these would be perfect for that, um, to do that with. on. I put, put those on. Okay, and then I have these that I've had. Remember, I was just telling you about the leaves. Everything was leaf. Um, that was the theme I was going for for fall um, 30 years ago. And I still have these. And I got these from Dollar General. They were $5 each. Very pretty. I mean, you can use them as a candy dish or just as decoration. Just to put them around somewhere uh, in the house. You could use them as a soap dish if you wanted to in the bathroom. If if you use it for the bathroom, I don't use mine for the bathroom. I use it for just around the living room or the dining room or something. But they are so pretty. I love those. Now the other thing I have is just a bag of uh, linens, like fall linens, like tablecloths and things like that. If I can get this undone without breaking a nail, I'll show you guys. Okay. Let me get in there. I put a couple of knots in this. I don't know. Okay. So, let me just open that bag and just kind of show you guys. This is a fall leaf tablecloth. These, these tablecloths I bought probably... Uh, I want to think from Walmart, and I got them probably mm, five years ago, probably about five years ago. Um, we had a big uh, Thanksgiving here at my house, and we were going to do different tables. We had about three or four, we had four, three tables working, just two full-size tables and one kid table. So I bought these so that we could have enough uh, tablecloths for all the tables that we were using. 
So put those on the table. I have this really cute um, paper thank, Happy Thanksgiving sign. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna pull it out, but you guys trust what it says. Happy Thanksgiving. It has a leaf in the middle. I've had this for years. <laughs> I'm not even sure how long I've had this. Probably during the time that I bought the everything leaf, everything uh, matching leaves. So I still have that. Now this is the tablecloth I was telling you about that I had um, bought 30 years ago. Look at the color on this. How beautiful is it still today? I've washed it many times. I wash it every time I after I use it. I wash it and sometimes before I use it I wash it just because I don't remember if I washed it <laughs> when I took it off so I just go ahead and wash it again if I'm gonna use it on the table I want to make sure it's clean you know um, where you eat you know you want to make sure things are clean so look at the color on this I mean it's just amazing how well it held up now where I got this was a place called Garden Ridge we had in Oklahoma that um, in now has changed to at home. I'm not sure if that's everywhere that Garden Ridge, I mean, at homes used to be Garden Ridge. I don't know, but that our Garden Ridge turned into at home. So I'm not sure if that's a thing or just Oklahoma or where, but this is, that's where I got this from. As well as the, let's see if the napkins are in here. Um, as well as the napkins and everything that matched it, that's where I got it from. Um, I don't see the napkins in here, so they must be in another bag. So when I see them, when I get a, when I come across them, I'll show you. I'll show you that um, this tea towel set came. I mean, I got that from Garden Ridge too uh, years ago. Like I said, oh, probably about thirty years ago, literally. And came with a mat, um, a oven mitt. Didn't come with it, but it was all it all matched, and so I just picked up picked it all up. You know, um, everything was probably five dollars, six, twelve. You know, just randomly priced, but very pretty. Um, in this set, though, it was I think it was like a three set because I have three three that go together. They match, so. I just put the, these are what I put and decorate and put on my um, oven handle. You guys know I like to put the decor on my uh, decorative towels on the oven handle. And people know not to mess with them. They know they don't touch them because they know <laughs> that their decoration. Do not touch. Just look. Just look at them. And then I always have some that we can use too. But the ones that are are have been around a long time is because I don't do anything with them. I just, I mean, I use these. I use the ma the oven mitt in the in the uh, pot holder, but the tea, the tea towels, I don't, we don't wipe our hands and stuff on these. We just, we just use them for decoration, but I do have some that we can do that with. We can wipe our hands and stuff on them. I'm, I'm just imagining that the other tea towels, I mean, the other, the napkins and the other tea towels that I have are in the Halloween tote because I didn't have room to put them all in the fall tote. So I'll, I'll dig down around in, the, in there and find them um, for you guys. I also have these cute little napkins that I bought at Walmart um, probably about three years ago, like when we had a really big um, Thanksgiving here at my house and I told you we had the kids table. This is what I used on the kids table. Um, this theme right here, the turkey. It was so cute, it says gobble gobble. It was so cute, and the kids loved it. They had a tablecloth that they could draw on. It was just adorable. They loved it. Um, I put extra crayons and stuff on the table just to keep them occupied. You know, um, a table full of kids can get really antsy, so <laughs> you got to have some activities. So that's what we did. We put coloring sheets, and uh, the, the, the tablecloth I bought matched this, and it had um, where they could color on the tablecloth. So it was it was. Tons of fun. They loved it, and it just kept them really busy. So I recommend that. Um, so I kept the ones that I had left. So I said I just would keep them and, and use them again another time. You know, even if it's not 
a kid's table, we can still use them. They're very cute. So, um, those, I still have those. This right here is a, just a regular schmegler plastic, beautiful orange color though, uh, plastic tablecloth that I use like probably for the dessert table because I don't like to use my really good tablecloths for the dessert because it can get pretty messy. If you have just a table with desserts, it can get really messy. So I recommend, and this worked really well, um, a really nice plastic tablecloth, one that, you know, just kind of goes with the decor. Works out really well. This is just some tissue paper I have. Um, orange, I guess I was using it for some reason, but that's what that is. So, yeah, we're gonna... And then here's some cups I had left from the kids' table. Has that same turkey on it. Very cute. I mean, it was just a really cute table. I think you guys... I may have had... I, I'm pretty sure I made a video about it, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. Um, guys, go back and look for that um, Thanksgiving video, and you'll see all of that. Um, here's a very nostalgic turkey that I love to see because my aunt, um, my dad's sister, um, rest in peace, Aunt Ruth, we miss you. Dad, rest in peace, we miss you. Um... She used to do Thanksgiving every year. My Aunt Ruth, my dad's sister, uh, she did Thanksgiving every year. And I remember she had one of these. And one time I found I found one. And I guess it was probably, it's been a long time. It may be a, probably 30 years ago that I found one, this one. And I was just so happy that I found one because I remember her having one uh, at Thanksgiving. When we were kids, we would see this, and it just brought back so many memories of being at her house on Thanksgiving, um, and everybody being there. Everybody, our California uh, cousins and all of our um, aunts and uncles would be there. Uh, friends of the of the family would be there. It was just she just every year she pulled off a wonderful. Um, everybody came. She pulled it off. She pulled off a great Thanksgiving every year. And it just was, that's just a, a huge memory of my childhood is going to her house for Thanksgiving. Uh, my mom would cook Thanksgiving too. Um, when we got back home, she still have Thanksgiving, but we would go to my, my uh, aunt's house just about every year. And then we would go back home to mom's uh, Thanksgiving. And it just brings back a lot of memories so I bought one and have had it and I put bring it out every Thanksgiving and put it on a table somewhere at Thanksgiving because it just it's I need that you know what I mean I need I need to see this I need to see this every year at Thanksgiving so I try to take care of this one because I don't know if I'll find another one but I try my best to take care of this one and it's lasted for 30 years guys you know thank God it it kind of closes up and stuff, so it, it keeps it a little safe, but I worry about this part. So I try my best to keep it, you know, flat and in between something so it doesn't get wrinkled or or smashed or anything. But yeah, this is a very big part of my childhood that I remember. And I really, really have to have this. I'm serious. I have to have this at Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. Let's keep it right here. Uh, now let me look, go ahead and look at this Halloween tote and see what I see that I've seen. I've seen some of my, um, some of my tea towels, but some of them are missing. And I'm going to, I'm just going to try and look through here over there, there. Find it without pulling all this out because... Okay, yeah, this is, this is all of the napkins. I have, these are the napkin rings that I bought for the napkins that year. Um, the leaf, all of the leaf um, decor. So, I have those still. They're still in good shape. So, like I said, anything that's in good shape, 
and it still looks good, I use it. More napkin rings. I have six. Uh, I use it. I use it all. I use it all. I don't throw anything away. Uh, if it's still in good shape, I keep it and I use it now. Here's the napkins. Beautiful color steel. <laughs> and they've been washed and washed and washed and washed and washed. And it's still a very beautiful fall color. I'd say that's like a burgundy, brownish burgundy color. And it still looks great. Now, here's some other ones that I had that are orange that went with them. And they had a, a cute little uh, leaf on them as well. And they still look great. Great orange color and still vibrant, still um, a deep orange color with a little green leaf on it. Um, all very cute and I still will be using these um, this fall. So that's those. I knew I had them somewhere. I knew I hadn't thrown them away. And this is just some more of that orange um, tissue paper just for, for something that I used it for. Um, here is just a little um, beads that I put around a candle or something, you know, just because they're, it's a beautiful color. It just looks like fall. So I use it like at the bottom of a candle or something like that. It's really cute. So keep that. All right. Now. You'll see a few things that are fall. Like I said, if you run out of room at the end of, of, of trying to find, I mean, trying to uh, put your things away, then you just start putting it where you have room to put it. Here's a, a beautiful pillow that says, fall in love. Got a little bit wrinkled, but still great. I um, bought this probably three years ago and I want to say I got it from, where did I get this? I want to say I got it at, at home. This is, that's where I think I got it from, at home. Um, at home, I believe is where I got it. That and the thankful pill I got it from at home. Very pretty. And Keeping with the colors of my theme. Now here's now this is just a picture I kept. Um, it just says Happy Thanksgiving, and I, I used to put it inside of this really large wreath that I had, and I just put this inside of it. And you can kind of see it through. Um, it was just a wreath that I kept in the house, so it it looked really pretty in the reef, um, but it's just a, just want something I found at a, I want to say Dollar Tree or something like that years ago, like 30, I'm talking about 30 years ago, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, but it's been a long time that I, that I found this, um, 25 years ago, something like that, um, found it a long time ago, and just, use it um, <clears throat> at Thanksgiving. I pull it out and just put it somewhere because I've had it so long. I have this <clears throat> cute sign that says give thanks. It's kind of starting to, the glitter's kind of starting to rub off, but I think I can fix that. If I get a little bit of orange glitter, um, burgundy glitter, I can fix that. But it's just starting to rub off and I've had this for probably three to five years, um, I've had this give thanks sign. I got it from Dollar Tree um, years ago. And it's just still holding up. And like I said, and you can see in a few spots that it has glitter. The glitter is kind of coming off a little bit, but I can fix that with a little glitter. Yeah, so I love this sign. I think it's really pretty. I like glitter. You guys know I like glittery things. I like glittery, uh, flashy type things. I just have always been that way. Glittery, shiny, sparkly, gold. I just love, I love all of that. Okay. 
If I can find it in decor and decorations, then I'm all over it. So the rest of this stuff, I believe, is just Halloween. I believe. I hope I'm not missing something in here that, that I need to bring out for fall. But as far as I see, I want to think it's all Halloween. Here's some little flowers that I like to put in a little little vase that I have in the kitchen. Um, cute little, I don't know what these are. I want to say daisies, but I don't think it's a daisy. I'm not sure what they really are. But they're really cute. And they're orange and they match my theme. And so this right here is just a bag full of artificial leaves that I might need for something just to lay around or to add to something. And again, I got these when I got, when I did the leaf, the leaf thing, the leaf decor, I bought these and figured I might could use them for something. So that's, that's what that is. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you everything on the table. And this is what we have to work with to decorate. And I will probably do a decorate with me tomorrow. Okay, now I'm going to show you what's in my um, trash bags. Show you uh, what we have in those. And then we'll I'll show you everything. Again, these some of these are pillows, and I just try and get them, make them safe. And so I just put them inside of a trash bag and just make sure that it's closed up really good. This one closed up really good. Try not to break a nail here, but I have this one wrapped really tight. Must be something good in here. There we go, finally. I may speed that part up, guys. I don't wanna I wanna make you guys watch something to last forever. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, I remember this. And I bought it. I bought it last year at the end of fall. At the end of everything, the fall um, holidays. I bought it at the end, like even after Thanksgiving, I think. And I said, well, I can't use it now, so I'm gonna just put it away for, ne for next year. So it's, it's still in the bag that I bought it, <laughs> that I bought it in. It's something that I've been wanting for, I've been wanting and wanting, and it's really not for, it's really, I don't remember, let's see. I got it from Walmart. I think the tag is still on it. Let's see how much it costs. How cute is this, you guys? It's a squishmallow. It's a pumpkin squishmallow. How cute. Aww. Aww. How cute. I think it was $20. I want to think it was $20. Let's see what this is. I know that's the... That, Halloween rug I don't like. See what this is. I think I know what this is. This is these are pills, Halloween pills. I don't I don't need to open that up. This is a Halloween wreath. I don't need to open that. Let's see. This is 
this is my hello sign that I had out last year, uh, outside last year on the on the uh, front door. But I'm thinking this year I might put it on the back door uh, because I want to put my fall wreath. The fall wreath that I've used for years, well, eh, I might I might put this on the front door because it might it'll work for fall and for Halloween. So I may just go ahead and continue to do this. And I said that I needed a um, Halloween wreath. I really, I mean, Halloween um, uh, doormat, but I really don't because I remember now that I bought doormat that matches this. And it can go with Halloween because it's black and it has the orange on it. I think I can do, get away with that. But this is the wreath that I had last year on the door and I bought it, bought it last year. Um, here is the mat. This is the mat. It didn't get very dirty last year either. So I'll probably be just putting that back on. And I'm going to put it on the floor here so I don't... I don't want to put it on something because it's been outside. Not good. Not clean. And so I have also... This is something beautiful. I love this. It's a thankful sign. It's thankful. And I bought this from the Dollar General and it was $10. Still have the tag. It was $10. I bought this two years ago. And I don't know if it's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's still going to probably be backwards to you guys because I have it on selfie mode and everything is backwards. So, this is my thankful sign. I love it. It's very, very pretty. Very... A nice size and very, very um, sturdy. Okay, now this is another wreath that I've had for uh, many years. I've had for many years. It's kind of starting to lose leaves, but I have all of those leaves. I can, I can fix it. I mean, I could just put more leaves on. It's a pretty easy fix, but this is. Just a wreath that I've had for many years. And I usually look at the leaves falling off like, like they do outside, really. So, I could really use this here inside the house that way. You know, it won't the leaves won't blow off a whole lot more. I could use that inside the house. I could put it over here, even. figure out if I want to leave it there or not. Um, so here is another read. I think this is the one that I have to put out the words on that board. Yeah. And it's this one. And I usually put that on the outside door. Put that on the outside of the door. And this is just a, a sign that I've I bought, I'm not sure when or where, but I, I, I just connected it, wrapped it around. It's got a wire uh, hanger, and I just wrapped it around this reef just to make it a bigger reef. And I, I really like it. So I'll use this outdoors on the, on the outside of this door, the back door. outside and fluff it up and I usually go outside and fluff it up and make it you know fluffy and stuff so uh, this is another wreath that I like to use um, yeah I'm not sure if I want to use I'm not sure if I want to use this indoors. I may use this indoors instead of outdoors this year. I don't know. We'll see. I may 
still use um let's see something. Yeah. Oh. Um I still may use this outdoors on the door for now and then put the hello one later. Or I may save this and do this one for Thanksgiving and then put but I kind of like how it says pumpkin patch and autumn in i love that so i'm gonna put it out there on the front door for now and just kind of decide if i want to use the hello one for later i don't know we'll see <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put that this one out on the front Okay, let me show you one more mat that I have. This one is more, it's Thanksgiving. It's not fall, it's, like it's fall, but it says Happy Thanksgiving on it. So I only use it at Thanksgiving time. It's very pretty. I love it too. I'm going to put it down here on the floor as well. that and then I'll put all of this stuff back up because I'll use these when I put it away I'll have these trash bags and bags to, to put it away. Yeah so I'm gonna show you guys all of what I have here and then uh maybe tomorrow we'll go ahead and do our decorate with me video clean and decorate guys I forgot to show you these cute little things that I got from Dollar uh, Tree and they were just a dollar each how cute are, well dollar 25 it's not Dollar Tree anymore it's dollar 25 tree nothing in there is a dollar anymore it's all dollar 25 and then they have an area that's five dollars so dollar 25 tree that's where I got these and how cute are they how cute are these? They're just so cute. I have two. Um, I forgot to show you guys. Forgot to show you. Okay, guys. So here are all the candles I still have um, that I've had for years that um, I can still use. I have an orange um, lighter to light my candles with for fall. Uh, all of these, pretty much the orange ones are all pumpkin spice. I have this one that says kitchen spice my sister bought me um, a couple and then this one has also praline birch and they smell really they're just you're smelling fall when you open those up you smell fall and neither of these have been used well this one has this one's been used uh, it smells really good it smells just like fall and so all of these like the the, the orange ones they're all fall scented like uh, pumpkin spice or uh, they're very spicy when you when you smell them you can tell the spice
Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go down and hit the subscribe button. Also hit your notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video and you won't miss any of my videos. And you guys, also go over uh, to Cooking with Jolinda and subscribe and hit your notification bell over there as well. And also go over to TikTok and uh, follow me over there. And as well as IG. Uh, follow me on IG. And...